So I, I'm just getting off a podcast with Russell Brand, and it's 11.34 my time, and it's 6.34 London GMT, and this is a message for Russell Brand. I just listened to a podcast that you just did, Russell, called This Is How Pfizer Did It. It was pretty spot on in terms of the government complicity and the monopolization and how this works with hedge funds and how they operate internally. But what you're missing is the most important part as it relates to your echo chamber and the clicks that you've been involved with by ignoring me. So let's start from the beginning. So recently, a guy by the name of Ed Dowd, a guy who supposedly came out of BlackRock, he worked there back in the dot-com bubble. He came through the great financial crisis. He saw the tricks of the trades. He got sick. He decided to get out of it. And he starts warning us that, you know, we're on the precipice of the mother of all collapses because of everything that's happened pretty much since the end of 2009, which I've been trying to put on your plate. And that ultimately leads to this juxtaposition where he actually is all over Robert Malone and information that Robert Malone has apparently been professing that ultimately proves that Pfizer, was actually uh, guilty of fraud in clinical trials, which I don't know what the evidence is. I haven't seen it. But then that loops right back to our friend Joe Rogan, who had Robert Malone on. And so if you're getting all up over you know, the system, the corrupt system, and justifiably so, please don't forget that Joe Rogan could be in the process of promoting a guy, Robert Malone, who's working with this guy, Ed Dowd, to short Pfizer, which, okay, great. But let's understand what happened in the big short, okay? Were the heroes... Um, you know, the guys that uh, were portrayed by Christian Bale and, uh, you know, Brad Pitt and uh, all these guys who realized that there was all sorts of, uh, quite frankly, deception and deceit happening in the mortgage-backed securities industry. Did they do their research and get it completely right? Were they the ones that ultimately through Michael Burry in real life got it completely right to be able to hedge that Christian Bale with his drums, you know, waiting for the whole shoe to drop? Because they, I think Christian Bale, Michael Burry uh, is the real character walk with $498 million from that short. Um, you know, ultimately, yeah, is that capitalism? I guess so. But they shorted. Uh, you know, obviously what was blowing the world up as opposed to going to the DOJ, the FBI and the SEC to say, hey, look, we've got evidence. What are you guys doing? They wanted to capitalize on it. OK, fine. So then the question becomes, why wasn't the FBI, the DOJ and the SEC uh, doing their job? Well, that's a display in the con. Russell, and then ultimately, if you want to get to the point that the FDA is corrupt, as Mr. Dowd says it is with these clinical trials that he's got evidence approved with Pfizer, okay, I could certainly buy that because that's exactly what the con is. Only in our particular case that preceded what's been going on since COVID started, the whole system blew up based on an engineered criminal deception at every level from the beginning of origination to the underwriting, to the uh, credit ratings agencies, to the derivatives trades, that blew up the world, that then the Federal Reserve gave $29 trillion to the bad actors that got to start again. And they did the same thing in 2019, Russell. And then ultimately, this has bled into COVID, which is apparently you're all over. But again, they, they, they weren't heroes. There were dudes that were, you know, uh, doing due diligence because the market led them. And then all of a sudden, you know, we're celebrating these guys as heroes. And by the way, I love Adam McKay, one of the greatest directors and, and, and screenwriters of our lifetimes. The guy is a genius, but you can only put so much information, apparently. And I don't know how much information Adam McKay had. But ultimately, he blamed strip dancers on the 2008 Great Financial Crisis, which is blaming the victim that strip dancers had nothing to do with it. Everybody was set up. Just as exactly what I put in the con. I'm sorry to get fired up, Russell. I love you. I love what you do. But the problem is, you're playing a game like everybody else is. You don't have the details. We have the details. It's the entire system. So if you're going to go down that path, I would actually... Um, cause you uh, a, a little bit of consideration that maybe Joe Rogan is either intently or unwittingly playing into a big short of Pfizer, which, okay, great. But if you have the intent to do that because you've got the knowledge and you knew what they did because Joe Rogan's been talking to guys like Matt Taibbi, he probably knows about Michael Lewis. I wouldn't be surprised if he talked to Adam McKay back in the day. And he's probably putting two and two together and he's like, well, Jesus, I'm worth $200 million. I can lay some money on this and I got a platform to 11, 14 million people a day. What if I expose Pfizer for doing what they're doing and I short the market? Okay, that would be really cool, but you need to be actually upfront about that 
Because then what you are is a conduit for propaganda as opposed to actually being a platform where then maybe you are involved with some sort of like, you know, hedging in terms of information that needs to be out there to the American people in a real way. This is the race to the bottom. This is what happens when everybody has a voice and nobody has any understanding of actually what happened. It takes work. It takes years and years and years of work to be able to go out and get the evidence and the truth of how the system works when the system failed. And I'm telling you, you do know the system failed and you're absolutely right. We've got to purge corruption. My vision is a great resurrection based on reconfiguring life, liberty, and justice for all based on the dignity and the integrity of the system that holds the bad guys to account and literally puts them in jail. And to all of the other people that want to know what you're supposed to do about this, well, when you understand the con, you can put together the investigations and we can force elected leaders to either uh, do what they, they're, they're mandated to do based on illegal, uh, illegal behavior by these corporate monsters that have created uh, you know, monopolies. And then we basically reconfigure the laws to get rid of all of this obfuscation and this opaqueness. And then we actually prove that the likes of the New York Times and the Boston Globe and everybody else sat on this story because they're also probably playing with hedge funds that are paying for them. And then while they're gutting their investigation departments, which is why a guy like me, Patrick Lovell, is shouting from the rooftops and the mountaintops that the whole system is corrupt. And I know how. It's in the con. www.thecon.tv. I'm taking it to the American people, Russell, because I've been trying to go to your gatekeeper forever and you guys are not paying attention to me. But guess what, Russell? We just passed 170,000 viewers in like three weeks. I'm hot on your tails, dude. I don't want to be in competition with you. I want us to walk arm in arm, man. Dude, this is what happens when you ignore people who have the truth. Dude, it's, you know this, you're a little literal scholar. I, I, I don't even know where you get your, you know, your brain uh, uh, capacity and your magnetism, but it's the emperor's new clothes, bro. That's all it is, man. And you've got to have the facts. We've got the facts. Look, I'm getting it to the world no matter what. But it would be really nice for you and I to connect because you're missing a, a, a couple of key ingredients and you actually should take it upon yourself to do what I'm asking everybody else to do. Watch the con and call me personally. Hit me with an email, dude. Your gatekeeper's got it. We could actually rise above this system and do what you're supposed to do, but you're navel gazing inside the clique that you've already you know, pulled off. I've got the access to the guys from the FBI, the DOJ, the SEC, and everybody else that actually got this right. That constitutes exactly what I'm telling you. We've done the fact checking. We've done everything. We went well beyond what everybody else has done in this business. And I'm telling you right now, Russell, you know, there's definitely, I'm, I'm not, I'm not second guessing the numbers on COVID deaths, but I will tell you right now that there were literally tens of millions of illegal documentation fraud that went through the courts that purged uh, or that, that bulldozed millions of Americans. Well, for example, Rachel Maddow is going after uh, Donald Trump right now, and it's going to be a big deal during the, uh, the midterms. Uh, the election in uh, the electioneering of Donald Trump based on uh, fraudulent documentation with election certifications. That's a small piece of Giuliani is guilty, which I wouldn't doubt it. The guy's a vampire. I don't know what happened to him being the Rico guy back in the day in the 70s going after the mob. He certainly became one himself because that's where the money is. Quit chasing the zeitgeist, Russell. Let's develop the truth together. Not develop it. I've already got the truth. You can help me spread it to the world if you're legit. I kind of think you are, but I'm not sure where the disconnect is. That, hence why I'm actually trying to get out to you directly. And now it's going to go through 170,000 plus people. So hopefully that might get your attention later.